Alright, then I believe too. And with that, there's only one thing left to say. Let's rev it up! Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, so I went to Locals today. Just trying this deck out, because I've been trying it for uh, this this past two weeks. Uh, bouncing back and forth between this and Chris Trumpelio. And, um, because, like, right now, I really think Dark Law is really good right now. Like, Dark Law and Toad are just really good. Except if you play pure, pure Paleo, it's like, it loses, it's, it's like single-handedly loses to Masterpiece. So you, like, have to main, like, hide use, like, the Sea Turtle, because it, it synergizes the most with it. Because you can pitch it with Swap Frog and just pitch it for Toad if you want to. But, um, I, I kind of wanted to add the element of Dark Law. Because Dark Law, I think, oh my god, Dark Law is just really good. Banishing any if you if you open up Dark Lock against a true Draco player, they're gonna have to do these awkward plays where they normally wouldn't um, do. Like let's say let's say they they, they want to out it right away, they have to tribute it or whatever. They, those get banished. Normally, what they would be would be in the grave as um, resources for the masterpiece to be able to pop on the player's turn. But since they're not there, they'll be banished. It'll just be a, a, an immune um, masterpiece that you can, I guess. Uh, I guess maneuver around because he doesn't have any any fuel to to um, pop your your, your stuff. Um, similar to Dryden and Zoo, like if you go first and you open Dark Law, it puts him in an awkward scenario. I mean, of course, if they have Chalice or or um, or a board wipe, then it's then that sucks. But like, I think I just overall just um, Toad and Dark Law are just really really good right now. Like I, I just they just I just think it's really good. So I want to use it, use it to its full extent and. Um, because you know that hero took a big hit because Norton is gone, so it, 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 you don't have that that Norton um, into Bahamut Shark into Toad. So I figured to make it into um, actually manually do the Toad with the with the Frog Engine, because everything's water except for three. So that it kind of made sense to me because you pretty much make you play Paleo pretty much, and you just have the core of this. You, like you don't play the um, the, the standard hero because like um, heroes don't play don't need instant fusion anymore. Because I mean I guess you, if you want. You can use um, rare fish, but like, um, I don't know. I just I, I don't think it's worth it. Um, but anyways, uh, sorry for the glare. <laughs> I'm still I'm doing it again at nighttime. So you play, you have your three shadow mesh, your three bubble man, uh, and then you play your frog engine. And you play uh, your three swap, three dupe, and two Ronin. I think if I, uh, uh, moving forward, I'm gonna cut this to one. Cause there was times where I had both of these and it just wasn't needed. Like the only time it's needed is it is when you have your your um your soul charge play where you can do like multiple toads if you open up this and frogs. Like that's cool. Like that like have opening it with two toads, man, with like two back row. That's freaking crazy. But I think in the long run, I would I would have much rather preferred this be like a counter trap or 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 some sort of interaction or disruption uh, along to um. To combo off with with toad and, and dark law like have two because you can't just have dark law by himself you can't just have toad by itself you need like other things with it kind of like with the uh, like ogre and ash like if you have one it's fine but if you have both it's freaking insane so it, it, I, I, it was kind of that mentality where okay um this is bad for consistency because you always want to special the bubble and this having multiple of this is like oh damn that means you need to have a rug uh, a swap to pitch it i don't know so i might just end up cutting that um, and that's the monsters, uh, and then the spells. Uh, just play your Rota and um, Soul Charge. And, uh, yeah, that was, you know, I, 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 I'm, yeah, th I think I'm moving forward, I'm gonna cut these three because like three eco already. I, I'm not sure like you really need this one because like you as it is, you don't even want to have monsters. You rather have uh, disruption. So I, I might just end up cutting those three for something else, like either main chalice because I was citing it, but um, yeah. But as of saying, it was it was okay. I mean, I, I didn't really see it, so I can't really judge it on on, the, on today's performance because I didn't really use it. And then you have uh, your three e call. Sorry for the glare. Sure, don't make it like not just like glare. Then you have like your, your standard um, your hero lives. This guy ashed today like freaking game. Oh my god. Um, it sucks when it ashed you. Like oh my god, that's like the worst feeling. But luckily, it's not once per turn. So that's that, that, I guess that's a plus. Because if it was once per turn, it'd be horrible, man. Uh, and then you have your then you have your three uh, your three mass your mass change. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty standard. Like like I think it'll, it'll just end up being that and you know, as your only spells and yeah. 
know, it just feels like it, it just feels like it'll 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 it just feels better that way. I don't know. Okay, then you have your Pelio as well. Uh, three Canadia, three Dermiscus, three um, Onoids, and then three Breakthrough. Like I think either either more break no, no either maining three lost win or maining three chalice would benefit you more because chalice is good going second because like if you open up like this um and chalice it just gives you a really good like, a, like you're able to play through things because you can chain this when you target this or you can chalice and it, it's just really good interaction you open up this this and chalice like if you open up this and Chalice, man, that's pretty damn good already. Cause that going second right now, like against Dryden, oh my god, it's really really good. That 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 combo is really awesome. So um, I think that's just gonna happen. I'm gonna end up um taking that that out for three Chalice in the main. But Breakthrough is insane, man. But I don't know. I think. But then again, I don't know. I kind of wanna um. I kind of wanna make Starlight Road, cause like, you um. You said so much, and there's some like board webs are everywhere, man. And um, I don't know, like just the one, like not not two, maybe two. No, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just because I want to incorporate at least a synchro into it, because I know there's um, I know Anthony, you mentioned the 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 revolution, the counter trap, but with this one, uh, you can chain a paleo to it, so that's why I like it. Like it, 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 one, because it's synchro, but, but <laughs> another one is because you can just uh, activate and then chain a paleo and grave, which is really really good. And just have more um, toad set up that way. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the main deck 40. So I think this is gonna end up changing. Though. Take these, take these out either for three chalice, um, and that's that's it. And that's gonna be it. But everything else seems smooth. Oh my god! And especially the side deck. The side deck was all. I think there was one card in the side deck that was really awesome. Like it really stood out. Like I mean, like a, like you've seen it around. Uh, forbidden up. Uh, forbidden up. Uh, this card. Where is it? Where is it? So, okay, so it's like three gamma here because um, swap you can just like you can just uh, discard it for swap and use it for totally. It's really really cool. Uh, three gamma seal, then the three board wipes for sure because it's going second sucks. And the side end chalice, and then the three twister, and then the, this one was insane today. This allows for that slow roll interaction, like where you don't really want to do it, you want to just kind of just I guess. Push it to the to the very end until we okay now I, I have another choice to just use it like this gives you that option and those plays makes makes really unreadable situations like it's hard to prepare for those when you're slow rolling something where it seems like it's obvious that like you'll use it but you just don't you just hold it because you know that you can afford to hold it and then once you like okay fine like, I have to do it and then you do it it's like it's just a blow up, man this is really good so this is really good to get zoo because they can't my body it like it's really hard to play around it it's really hard like really really hard. Um, but yeah, side deck was like pretty insane, man. Um, twisters were okay. Um, <laughs> this is I kind of lost with though. This is really but yeah, this card's insane, man. And then uh, this extra deck. I think the extra deck might change as well. Um, I play a uh, Bahama Shark, uh, Lightning, Topia, Kesta. I think if I were to, if I have Tornado Dragons, I think I would play Tornado Dragon, a uh, Tornado Dragon, and. I think I would play, I think, uh, another Dweller. I think two Dweller. Uh, two Dweller. Not too sure. And then, uh, of course, you played your Paleo, uh, Opabinia, Cat Shark. Because, like, you can b pump up all these, so that's really good. And then, of course, you played three Toad. And then. Sorry, there's no. And then you have your Heroes, which is really. This is really, really good. I mean, it, it, it did okay. I mean, I could have I could have done better. Freaking, this was, uh, that was, like, <laughs> really underwhelming, though. Like really underwhelming. Um, the next look at open is pack. It's packs for you guys. Um, maybe hopefully it gets something out of here to freaking do. But I, I think, but I think in the end I'm gonna end up cutting this, cutting these for something else, like something more meta relevant. Cause as of right now, this is what I went into the most. Like this was insane and it's freaking crazy. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, let me go to quickly open up this this um this packs. Okay. Let's see what we get. Hopefully something good, man. Freaking ah, oh, so it was really underwhelming, like really underwhelming. Sylvan Princess. 
That's not good at all. Okay, let's see. Let's see what is. Oh, it feels pretty stiff. Oh, okay, now I don't think it's gonna be anything. Oh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> but that's gonna be it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video and um, thanks for watching.